Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an advanced heading text animation with a color change illusion on scroll without the use of any line of CSS code. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to achieve something that looks like this. When you scroll, you can see the color change illusion. When you scroll this way, you can still see the same color change illusion. Now, this can be a wonderful effect you can apply on your project to beautify and give your visitors that captivating effect. Okay. So, and also you can see it on our demo web page where we added the effect here. Okay, and you can see the same effect here. So, without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So, in the middle of editing screen, what we're going to do first is we're just going to add um, some containers here. Let's add this first container. Let's change the unit to VH. Let's give it a value of 100. And let's go to the style option real quick and change the background color to black. Okay, now let's duplicate this container here and then let's come over to the second container and let's go to the style option and change the background color to red. The reason for these two containers is so that there is, we have room for scrolling, like as you can see. Okay, so now our effect will be added within these two containers here. So this is where we're going to add our design. Now we're going to come over here, let's add a container, this container here. Now we're going to call this container here, the parent container, parent. Okay, and then for this container here, we're going to come here, give it a minimum height of BH100. Okay, so we can see precisely what we're doing. And then we're going to come over here, justify content to the center, align items to the center as well. And then we're going to go to the widget area, drag another container and drop it here. Now for this container here, we're going to come over here, we're going to call this container child container. Okay, now for this child container here, what we're going to do here is a uh, we're going to add another container within it. Okay. Now for this container, we're going to add within it. We just click here and drag and drop another container within it. Now for this container here, we're going to call this container first. Okay. Now for this first container, what we're going to do here, we're going to come over to the minimal height and give you the minimal height value of 450 pixel. Okay. Now still on this first container, we're going to go to the style option and then we're going to come over here to the background and give it a background color. Okay. Now, when that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to the chart container, this chart container here, and that we're going to go to the advanced settings and we're going to unlink this. Now for the padding, we're going to change the unit from pixel to percentage and then we're going to give it to the left percentage of 44%. Okay. So we now have something like this. And I have something like this. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do now is on this first container here, this container we'll call it first container. We're going to add our heading and text widget. So we're just going to drag heading here and drop it here. Now for this heading, we're going to change the text to creative arena. All right. So we're going to come over here to the style option. We're going to change the color to white and then we'll go to the typography and then we're going, we're going to leave the font family at default for the size the font size we're going to set it to 78 pixel and then for the font weight we're going to give it a value of 600 semi bold okay now we're going to come over to the first container here and we'll go to the advanced settings and for the padding we're going to unlink this and then give it a padding of 100 pixel to the top okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do we're going to come over here to this widget here and let's drag a text editor and drop it here Okay, so now for this text editor, let's just copy this and add it here. So we'll have enough text. All right, so now let's come over here and change the color, the text color to white. And then let's go over to the advanced settings for the width. We're going to change the width to custom and then set it to 70, 75%. Okay, and then we're going to align itself to the end. All right, and then we're going to come over here for the margin. We're going to give it a margin of 20 to the right, 20 pixels to the right. So we now have something that looks like this, which is great. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do here is now that we've done all this, we're going to come over here to this face container here and we're going to duplicate it. Now you need to make sure that, you know, before you duplicate this, you need to make sure that this chart container here, we need to go to this chart container here and go to the layout, make sure that it is set to direction item, direction is set to column vertical like this and then we also have the gaps column gaps we're going to set it to zero column arrow gap zero 
okay so what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna come over to this heading text and let's add motion to our heading text all right so we're gonna go to the advanced settings here let's come over to our motion effect and then for the scrolling effect let's toggle this to on now for the horizontal scroll let's turn this on now let's leave the direction to the left let's leave everything as, as it is right now okay so now when we'll come over here when we scroll we can see okay all right so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come over here and then we're going to make sure we we're going to duplicate this first container okay so we'll just duplicate it and then for this one here we're going to call it second okay all right so now that we've done the we can see now that we now have two containers similar no gap between okay so now we'll come over to the second container for the second container we're going to first of all go to the style option and for the background let's change the background color to white okay now we cannot see the heading text and the other text so for this the other text here this text below we don't we won't be needing it so we're just going to delete it and then for the heading text this heading text here we're just going to come over here go to the style option and then change the text color to orange so it's now the same with the background color here so we can see it now now when you scroll you can see what is happening here now let's come over here let's let me show you explain something to you so now when we scroll you can see that this heading is too big so it comes out here this is what we call overflow okay so and this is the overflow effect that we're going to manipulate to our advantage to create this illusion that we want to work with right now okay so now you can see now that when you scroll this is overflow. this is the same thing that happens here in this first container here however we're unable to see it because of the the background color here is white so we cannot see it okay so now what we're going to do next here is before we proceed let's just come over here to our parent container here let's go to the advanced settings and let's unlink this and give it a party of 100 to the top and then 100 to the bottom so that everything looks great okay so now let's come back here to our second container now for this second container here what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the advanced settings and then we're going to go to the z index set the z index to one and then let's go to the first container go to the advanced settings and then let's set the z index to two okay great so now that we've done this the next thing we're going to do here is um we're going to come over to this second container okay now for this second container here we're just going to go over to the margin now i'll link this and then to the top we're going to give it the value of minus 450 which is the same value as that of the container the first container and the second container which we set here in our layout this 450 okay so that is where we got our minus 450 okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the first container now this first container is near this um white heading is and the second container has the orange heading okay so that is how we're going to manipulate this to create our illusion now for this first header we're going to go over to the layout under the layout we're going to come over here to the additional options and then under the overflow we're going to change it to hidden so we can now see now that the overflow is now hidden and our second container which has the same text but different color is now showing okay so now when we come over here we scroll we can see the illusion that our text is you know the the illusion it creates which is a beautiful illusion that you can add to your website to spice things up okay and that way you scroll this way you still have it this way and then you scroll yeah have it this way okay so that's pretty much it about this tutorial i hope you've learned something new from this tutorial if you have done that please remember to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can see it as well and if you're new to our channel remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when there's i drop a new video but until then see you on our next video remember also to drop comments wherever you're confused or you have suggestions and i will do well to attend to as much as i can see you on our next video Bye bye